come up, left toes point to the diagonal, sit the hips down low. Hey everyone, welcome to today's class. This is a continuation of our Zodiac series, this time for all of my Scorpio bad yogis out there. So Scorpios, did some homework on you. You all are extremely ambitious and intuitive and love to challenge yourselves. But on the flip side of that, you can also be really possessive and a little bit jealous. And I sort of locked in on this jealousy aspect because I think it's really relatable for basically all of us. So I wanted to do a class that focused on goals. I think that not just for Scorpios, but a lot of people, we tend to, we can tend to set a goal and instead of making ourselves the primary focus of that goal, we look at someone else or some other group of people and instead and we make them the focus and just our comparison in comparison to them so it's like instead of setting a goal and making ourselves all about the goal and that's the focus and that's the only thing that matters we set the goal we look at someone else and then we just compare ourselves to that person in that realm and that really doesn't serve us very well at all so today's class we're going to be working on the splits Yes, we have a pretty short amount of time to work on the splits, but the whole challenge of this is to see if you can focus on the minor improvements, the little things, and appreciate those for what they are, rather than thinking about the end result and that being the only thing that matters. So we're gonna get right to it. Flip over so that you end up on your hands and knees. And we'll take a few rounds of cat-cow, so just at your own pace, with your breath, move between cat and cow. You can go pretty slowly here. Take one more each way. Eventually bringing it back to neutral. Plant the hands, tuck the toes under, and sit back in downward facing. Pedal out the feet just a little bit. I want you to put all of your weight onto the left foot and just bend the, left knee, or the right knee so that you can really lengthen the back of the left leg. And switch sides, plant the right foot, put all of your weight on the right foot and just pop the left heel up. So again, you can really focus on lengthening the right side. And bring it back to neutral. Now step your feet back. So think of taking a much wider down dog than you normally would. So really, really wide. Lift the hips high and press back into the heels. So the heels probably won't touch at this point, but you feel a lot of lengthening through the calves, maybe the hamstrings too. And shift forward. Step your left foot between the hands, drop the right knee down. And let's come up for a kneeling lunge. You can keep the hands on the left knee or you can stretch them all the way up. We'll just let the right hip open. Sit down nice and low. And again, the hands can end up wherever you like. And take three full breaths. Exhale, plant the hands. Shift your weight back to a runner's lunge here. So wiggle the left foot forward. Make sure the right knee is under the right hip. And walk the fingertips forward just enough until you feel something in that left hamstring. So here we're trying to get into the calf, the hamstring, the back part of the hip everything that needs to be nice and long in order to get into a split. Let's come back to that kneeling lunge where we focus on the front part of the hip, especially that right hip, front, inner, thigh, 
front of the hip. So let the right side of the pelvis get nice and heavy. Maybe stretch the right arm all the way up and over. And take the right hand down, shift back once again. Wiggle the left foot forward, 90 degrees on the right leg. Nice and long through the spine. Pay attention to the length in the back of the left leg. And go ahead and come back to the front. Plant the hands. Step back, downward facing. Step the right foot forward, left knee down, kneeling lunge. We're going to hold for a few breaths. So keep the left hip heavy. Again, be mindful of where your focus is here. So the front part of the left hip, maybe even into the inner left thigh, really let the hips get low. Hands can end up wherever. Exhale, plant the hands. Shift your weight back halfway. Left knee is at 90 degrees. Fold over the left leg. Let's take all of your weight back to the front foot again. Left hip is nice and heavy. Arms end up wherever. <laughs> front of the hip, bring your awareness there. Try to relax, keep it heavy. Exhale, hands down, and now your awareness shifts to the back of the right leg, calf, hamstring, Keep the spine nice and long. You don't have to fold super, super low here and definitely don't put your butt down on the left heel. Keep it lifted. Good, come on out. A little bit of a shift here, tuck the back toes under, spin the right toes towards the corner of your mat, flip the left toes up, sit all the way down in a half squat on the right side. We're gonna move back and forth a few times, just getting into the hips a little bit more, come up, left toes point to the diagonal, sit the hips down low. And we'll move back and forth, right, Left, one more each way, right, left, come through to the center, turn the toes in towards the midline, you might have to adjust your stance on your mat, toes turn in towards the midline, inhale, get long, exhale, fold, right, down, relax the upper body, and to get a little bit more leverage, keeping the feet fully planted, imagine you're pushing either side of your mat away from the center. So you really engage all the way up through the outer glutes and find a little bit extra length. Inhale, lengthen. Turn everything towards the front of your mat. Go ahead and bring the feet together, knees together, sit back. So we're gonna move into playing with splits a little bit. And again, try to have a lighter approach to this. So it doesn't matter if you get to the fullest expression of the pose today. What matters is that we did enough 
to get to whatever we can get to today. So we stretched a little bit, we worked the muscles that were important to get to this point. Let's see where it takes us. Wherever you end up is exactly enough. So let's start on the right side, selfishly, because my right side is easier. <laughs> So starting in a kneeling lunge, this is just how I prefer to work down to a split. Just like we did earlier, kind of shimmying back and forth from this runner's lunge to a regular lunge, but continue, continue to wiggle that right foot forward, sliding the left knee back, wiggle the right foot forward, left knee back, and so on. Or you can slide straight down if you feel like you can get there. Hands come down, support yourself with the hands. Keeping the left toes tucked under will help keep the pelvis neutral, but eventually, of course, you can untuck the toes. We're not gonna hold for a super long time, just a few breaths. Gradually retrace your steps, tuck the left toes under, Shimmy the left knee in, right foot back, find your lunge, step back to a down dog, and we'll switch sides. Keeping in mind that each side is so completely different sometimes, so don't compare <laughs> left to right. It's tempting, I know, but don't compare. So from here, we're just going to wiggle the left foot forward gradually, slide the right knee back. Again, not comparing side to side, not comparing where you wish you were or um, what you feel you should be. Just sort of letting the process unfold. You can go kind of inch by inch or gradually just slide the left leg forward, extend the right leg back. Keeping the hips square, use your hands for support. Once you get to your max, we're just gonna hold for a few breaths. Eventually, leaning back into the hands, bending the right knee, sliding the left leg back. Bring your feet together, knees apart, sit back in child's pose. <clears throat> Take a few moments here. Keeping the eyes closed eventually, find a seat right at the front of your mat. And as you sit here, I want you to encourage yourself to reflect on the little victories. Where did you have a little bit more ability, flexibility than you thought you would? Did you take this class when you really wished you were doing something else, but you did it anyway? Anywhere along the way, from the time that you pressed play to right now, look for the little things and appreciate them too. On your next breath in, sweep the arms up overhead and pressing the hands together, exhale them right down to the heart center. Let the eyes blink open. Namaste. I hope you liked this class. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see more of. If you liked this and you want plenty more where that came from, head to badyogi.com slash free stuff. That's where I send like 
all my latest classes, yoga tips, resources, coupons for other things, all of that stuff. I'll link to that in the description below. If you want like a more solid, solid home yoga practice, check out my digital studio. It's studio.badyogi.com. I put out brand new full length classes every single week. So the library is never ending, constantly growing. And lastly, if you just want me to tell you what to do, you don't want to schedule it. You don't want to figure out what class to take. Uh, check out my eight week yoga program, the perfect body yoga program at perfectbodyyogaprogram.com where we believe that the perfect body is really just the healthiest version of the one you already have. Um, so there's a new edition coming out very, very, very soon as well. So you'll hear more about that in the, uh, the free stuff thing I talked about earlier where you'll probably get a coupon. But anyway, check out all that stuff. I'll link to everything you need to know in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me for class today and I'll see you right back here next time.